Hey guys, it's James is Aviation. Today I am unboxing this pretty big um, Gemini Jets British Airways A380-800. Um, it has the the registration G-XLBB. Um, and let me see. I'll, I'll open it up here. It's a pretty big model. I have a 737-800 here for scale, and I mean that's pretty big. But let me get this open. It, the box is a tiny bit damaged because I did buy it from eBay, but for the most part it is good. It seems like it has already been opened, but it looks like it's in pretty good condition. Okay, so here it is. Let me take this off. Um, that's good enough. Then let me take it out here. This is a pretty heavy model. This feels like at least, I don't know, a pound or something, but... There's some nice gear tilt there. It looks like this, oh, it was just flipped a little, but yeah, really nice gear tilt there. It looks like a Relay 380 pretty much. I guess those are flipped, but it's it's fine. Um, Lots of realistic detail in here. Like, let me see if it'll focus. The engines are really nice. They have the Rolls-Royce logo on them. You can see the, the One World there on the there's a little bit of damage there on the bottom of the fuselage and stuff that's just because um this isn't like someone's already owned this there's yeah little scuffs on it but for the most part really a nice model it feels really high quality um this is the 2013 model it said on the box um it is really really good model i'm impressed knowing the often uh, not too good performance by Gemini Jets. I was a little hesitant to buy this one, but it's really nice. I mean, I guess there's those those things right there on the wings, but I mean, I don't really have much bad to say about this. Let me, so there's the A380. Uh, let me move this stuff out of the way. That's pretty much out of the way. And then here's that 737 again. Um, big big size difference um the, the reason i got this plane specifically the british Airways one i was trying to get uh g dash x lea because um that's the one that i flew on i flew it from chicago to london and since that was my first a380 flight i thought it was really cool so i wanted to get that same plane but i mean this is still good it isn't the exact same one the thing on ebay said that it was um, G-XLEA, but it's fine. Now, I mean, seeing that I did pay a little less for this than any of the other, um, British Airways A380 models, I would say, um, it definitely shows with the little, uh, mess-ups, but, I mean, overall, this is just a, a great model. I definitely recommend it. I think it was, like, $57, but then including shipping and tax, it was, like, 77 so... Not exactly the cheapest, but, I mean, it is really good. They even have the registration on the wing. They have the little, all of that stuff. Um, yeah, there's a st the hole for the stand. Um, sadly, I don't think the landing gear can come off, but that's fine. Um, yeah, they have the little r red tips on the, the flap extenders. I think that's what those are. Let me zoom in on, on it there can see yeah the one world really really realistic there with everything it's a just a great model let me see um doesn't look like they have the landing lights on the wings there but i mean i'm impressed knowing gemini jets like not having the best history with the quality of their models overall this is uh really good so um i definitely recommend if you're gonna gonna get an a380 British Airways, or any for that matter, I would definitely recommend the Gemini Jets one. This feels really good. It's heavy, and I can tell that maybe it's specifically the 2013 model, because I know that the current models are, um, I think, G-XLEG. So those might be worse because they're more modern, but overall, this is really great. Um, if you guys want to see more Gemini Jets content or any of my content, Make sure to uh, like and subscribe and turn on notifications. Uh, most of the stuff that I do is either Gemini Jets unboxing, infinite flight content, or like trip reviews on uh, flight flight reviews. I mean, 
So uh, make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, and uh, like if you enjoyed this video. Uh, this is a pretty short one. It's just one plane this time. I'm pretty sure I've done a double unboxing before. But um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.